knowing that this episode is called hunger and it's high Q could actually be pertaining to food, but I like to assume that it's about that drive, that ambition, that hunger just to get better and better and better. What's up, Dapper Squad? It's your boy Darius back at it again super early in the morning. So if I look like I'm tired or if I need to wake up, I promise I will be awake usually halfway through this episode. That's about how it goes when I record in the mornings. My, my schedule can be very weird sometimes, but I'm super excited to hop into this episode. Last episode uh, of Haikyuu Season 4, it was called Taking It Easy. We had my boy Hinata helping out Hyakuzawa a lot with dealing with the pressure and struggles of being new in this kind of very intense environment and what to do in certain situations and something that just helps us out with our teammate and you take it easy in terms of both in the game and out of the game so that was amazing we had kageyama somewhat getting targeted by some other players for some confrontation i'm excited about that i'm excited about to see more of mia atsumo or atsumu um i think i wrote his name down wrong i think it's atsumu i i'm sure i'll fix it next time we see his name but i'm just super excited to hop into this episode i say we do it right now Remember, if you guys want early access and full length to this show and all the other shows I'm watching, make sure to check out that Patreon down below. We are four episodes ahead. If you guys want to support me, and Patreon's not really your thing, if you guys could just leave a like and a nice comment, it really does help me with the YouTube algorithm. Don't forget to subscribe if you guys currently are not subscribed. Click that bell so you guys always know exactly when I post. And don't forget to follow me on all my social medias, Instagram, Twitch, and Twitter, at Dapper Darius. Thank you guys so much. Let's hop right on into this. Uh, Q to the top. Episode 5 called Hunger. Ooh, I remember that. If you think about the character arc and the development Kageyama's gone through, it's crazy. Starting from the king, where he was at to where he is now. Yep. That's kind of a bar. <laughs> that really is. Because they're presumably, in terms of logic, the closest thing to being perfect, you know? But the furthest. And that's what Atsumu said as well, so <laughs> I'm curious. Yeah, look how good he's getting at analyzing. Which, oh, I always forget who comments, and I'm so sorry. You guys know how amazing you are with the information you guys give me. Which, it makes a lot of sense when it comes to Hinata's stunted growth, because you gotta think he practiced mainly by himself or with extenuating circumstances all the way up until high school. And then in high school, where as a first year, generally, you would not be a starter. You would be sitting there observing learning getting better getting better as you grow with the team he was Im Im immediately started initially started as a first year in high school with this squad so when Takeda sat him down and said hey if you want to get better you need to do the proper steps you need to learn he's actually doing that right now because he really never had the chance when he started he's sitting back he's watching others that who have done his what he's done for years as well and he's learning i thoroughly enjoy that but it could easily be overlooked you know just in the grand scheme of things and yeah, he's reading. He's he's so much better. It's crazy. Yep, that long reach. <laughs> Yakuzawa is Loki. He's he's a talent, man. He could be so nasty in the upcoming years. Yukushima is a well-rounded individual. Can spike when he needs to, he can block, and he can definitely do some other he's getting better. <laughs> you can't eat too many oysters. They said that in the last episode when he's eating the oysters. That's hilarious. <laughs> Look at him. Look at him. I love this song when they play it. It's such a good one. I was about to say, he even goes to Shiratorizawa and he won't talk to him. He's just so stoic, you know? 
アドバイス求めなくていいの次いつ来てくれるかわかんないぞ You know Goshiki wants to. He... <laughs> Unnecessary pride. He actually really adores and respects Ushijima. It's a good way to put it. Taking the initiative. <laughs> Taking the initiative is very important too when it comes to getting better. I love this little montage. This is the last day, right? He's just doing all this ball boy work, doing everything he can on the sides, <laughs> practicing the forms, doing everything. I love it. <laughs> I love it. You do what you can, ball boy. It's his bird eye view. Favorite spot on the court. Ooh, back to Kageyama. Let's find out what's going on at the National Training Center. That was a nice faint. It was a great save. But he moved out of the way too. Damn, so good. National level. Nice spike, Kageyama. Oh lord. <laughs> Oshiyumi. Is that the Birdman guy? The position shuffle game is great. Okay, so we got Sakuza, Hoshiyumi. Uh, Komori, I gotta write his name down. I've seen him a lot. He is, if I remember correctly, he's on Sakusa's team. Like Itachiyama with those eyebrows, very unique eyebrows. That's a great feeling. That's a very good distinction. This is a very stressful, pressure induced environment, but still enjoy it. I like the coaches over here. They've been real cool. And I like the words of wisdom a lot. Dozo. Oh my god. Kageyama's killing the spike game. And Mia's a nasty setter. You could tell. He's disgusting. Could even bewitch their spikers. Now that's true. <laughs> That'd be hilarious. Like, bro, I swear I was hitting these these sets like every time over there. What is going on? Good. So after this mock, yep. So after both of them, after all our people come back from training, we're gonna have some practice matches. I'm excited. I'm excited. That's a lot of confidence in yourself. なんでですかセッターやってる時はこう難しい顔しとったからってのは楽しそうやったでそうですかでも俺はセッターですうんまあせやろなオリコーさんってどういう意味ですか Really is. I wouldn't say a goody two shoes, but yeah, he's an all around honest, serious, good kid. I'll see you, Mia. Sakusa. Uh, Komori, I'll see ya. Hoshiyumi, I'll see ya. It's been great to meet all you guys. Oh yeah, I like the new characters introduced for this for this uh, nationals tournament. I like them a lot. That's cool. Kogunagawa is just so social, outgoing. That's that's cute. That's fun. Kunimi and Kandaichi are such good references to the old Kagayama. I love it. He's not wrong.
Kendaichi is surprisingly a complicated character. He has a lot of internal flaws and stuff like that. <laughs> and I love him. <laughs> Kunimi's funny too. Appreciate you guys. Good training. I'll see you guys next time. What do they call him? Turnip head? Something like that? Kandaichi? I've grown to really like him. And Kunimi. Oh boy, until the end. Hunger for height. Powerful driving hunger for height. I, I love the relatability he finds in Hinata. Like I said, they're so similar. For those of us who are born short, always have that hunger, for better or worse. Positive or negative, that hunger for height. <laughs> That's why he has man-made wings. <laughs> don't, don't eat the oysters. Do not do it. The coach, what's his name, Washijo? Very complicated character. Also very much enjoy him. I loved the, some of the depths and the flaws of these characters in the show. They go a lot more than the menial just playing volleyball and just being good people, you know? They all have their own internal struggles and difficulties to get over it's been a long time <laughs> outside of the anime and inside the anime since these guys have seen each other e we're right back to fucking the way <laughs> this will never get old to me immediately just lock eyes Ooh. i would love for you to see the players he met I thought he said the little giant, but no, there was a little giant there for sure. And he was nasty. <laughs> but without a doubt. <laughs> That's so cool to hear coming from Kageyama. <laughs> I love these guys. Same thing as last time. Tanaka coming in with the keys. It's a throwback. Yes, he can. After seeing some other ones, the other little giants, yeah, he's not done. His growth has not stopped. He's going to keep going. Date Kogio? My boy, Aone. We haven't gotten a, a rematch from them because they were going against Alba Josai last time. I am so down. Well, for the end of the training, five episode little training arc. We're not technically done with training and practice yet because we have a practice match with Date Kogio, which I absolutely love them. Aone, uh, Koko Negawa now, they're such good at defense. Our offense is going to be nuts. I think already our defense is pretty, pretty amazing. So definitely something we need to work on is our offense. Um, but like I said, for a five episode little training arc, you guys know me, I love training. It develops our characters mentally and physically. So what more could you ask for? And it most definitely did that in terms of our characters. I actually would say surprisingly, not so much physically. Like Hinata was almost pure mental, which obviously increases his, obviously increases the things he's able to do with his physical body. But just that mental is so much, so much important. So I don't want to say so much more important, but it's so important. So I'm glad he did that. Kageyama, he he i don't want to say was humbled because he still obviously is amazing he's a genius but he was able to get lots of references like he was saying to people that he knows and perspectives like i love him saying there was another little giant there who was probably 170 centimeters give or take but he was absolutely one of the best players he's seen there and i can only agree i because i got this name down hoshi yumi i absolutely thoroughly enjoyed watching him play in any situation that he did, whether it be setting, whether it be blocking, whether it be spiking, like this man is literally S tier in all categories and I love it. Oh, I gotta tell you guys a little story. Uh, I was, oh, I don't know if I'd be able to find it and put it up, I can't put it on the video, but I was scrolling through Instagram and they have like a little reel section, which is kind of like TikTok, but uh, it was like a little caption that says, and for people who say Haikyuu is unbelievable as an anime or some unrealistic, that's what it was. And it showed this, I don't know if it was in Japan, but it was, it was two Asian teams 
and they were oh my god it was easily the best rally of in real life volleyball i've ever seen in my life and they had literally a save where it went like halfway across the court my man pulled the hinata oikawa fucking slammed it back fucking did like a little roll came back it was amazing and i just like without having seen haikyuu obviously i wouldn't understand what's going on i wouldn't understand the context but just how an anime about a sport that you don't even have a passion for or don't even like care to watch gets you so into it to the point where i was like i was like freaking out over that little rally on my instagram you know i was like that is so cool i just i just love the power of anime and, and stuff sometimes it truly truly is amazing but uh, i kind of went off on a tangent there speaking of the training uh, hoshiyumi amazing mia definitely want to know more about him he obviously is an incredible setter but i'm not wanting to know more about his conversation like does he just hmm i want to know more about his conversation with kageyama and why he kind of veered him towards being a spiker and then the goody two shoes like i get what he's saying obviously kageyama is under those definitions a goody two shoes he's a good honest serious boy but what does that make mia like if he thinks because he got a little not dark but he got a little serious there when he was like how did it feel hitting my spike or hit my set yeah people who can't hit my sets uh are just ass they suck wiener so it's like is that overconfidence in himself does he just know he's that good is that egotistical i don't i don't know i would definitely want to learn more about the character so i can figure out specifically what it is but i loved the characters we saw at the national training i loved seeing goshiki suki i can't say suki because he's a part of our team but kogan nagawa hyakuzawa kunimi kandaichi all of them i love seeing shirabu come in all the third years asking ushijima about advice tendo obviously tendo's amazing but overall fantastic episode i do have a question here on the discord uh in the q a section if you guys don't know i have a q a, a Q &A section on the discord if you guys ever want to ask me anything about the show specifically like who's your favorite this what's your favorite that you can always ask me on the discord always available this one's from buckeye bangle i just want to say thank you for the support on patreon bangle and on discord you're always in there helping out being amazing but he says with the rumors that next season will drop this fall or winter have you ever considered limiting the videos to one every week and using the extra slot to to catch up on the other shows it would help limit the amount of back shows that have just started new seasons that way yes um i have considered it but in terms of what i want to do in terms of my schedule I think once I finish Jujutsu Kaisen or Haikyuu, I'm actually going to go down to two main shows. I want to have fewer shows that I can actually just constantly binge through and grind through because I, I hate not being able to watch the anime I want to watch, if that makes sense. But I also don't want to have the live shows where it's one a week take up too much. And I got way behind on my live shows like Promise Neverland, Slime, and Dr. Stone because of some in real life stuff mixed with some just be, being super busy. But in the next probably two or three months, I should be hopefully making enough money off of Patreon and YouTube to hopefully hire my first editor, which is going to be super big for the channel. If you guys don't know, I've been solo dolo on the editing, thumbnails, recording, everything for the whole aspect. So hopefully I can get a little assistance with that. If so, I'll be able to have... Because I want my, my my goal right now is to have two shows where I do like that aren't live. So I can have like three episodes. I can have four, six episodes a week of both of those. And then my live shows like Dr. Stone, My Hero, which is coming up, Promise Net, whatever that may be. So but but not missing a single day. So that should hopefully be a, a, a reality here in the next upcoming future in the next few months. But I don't think I'll be dropping any of the big shows I want because I just love being able to constantly keep watching these, you know? But I am excited for season five. I know you referenced it with the new season coming around the corner, but you know, I, I gotta finish Haikyuu. I just love it so much. Thank you for your question, Bangle. Thank you for your support, like I said. Um, but I'm gonna head out of here, guys. If you guys enjoyed, please leave a like. Let me know your thoughts on this video down below in the comments. I'll see you guys on this next one. Thank you, Dapper Squad. Peace out, you guys.